for a relatively new series, I think it's very funny that it has been Hotel has a very interesting and established lore with multiple pieces that just draws us in as an audience. I think one of the reasons that this series has gotten so popular so quickly is that even though it's only been out for two months, we're talking about it like anime and cartoon series that have been out for years, which is a highly impressive feat. I think one of those aspects is the characters. And when it comes to characters who we didn't get to see that much of in first season but could be very prominent later, there is one that stands out. Now I know any has been hotel fan is going to have their list of people they know exist and want to see in the series, but this is a character we've actually caught glimpses of already, but she did not appear in the main series, and that is Eve. Now there's a couple reasons why people speculate that Eve wasn't around, and I personally have some opinions on that as well. So let's go ahead and break down who Eve is in this universe and what role she might play in the future. So it's interesting to note that in Hasman Hotel, because God is not strictly mentioned, instead angels seem to have inherited the role of crafting Earth and creating humanity first, it is said that Adam and Lilith were the first created humans. Obviously Lilith rejected Adam wanting to be in complete control for blatantly obvious reasons and decided to run away. In the recognition that I don't think uh, angels realized that Adam couldn't procreate alone, they decided to make Eve. Now, it's not been expressly said that Eve was made in the same way in this universe as in the traditional Bible, but let's go ahead and assume that she was for now until we get confirmation otherwise. Now, that having been placed in mind, that kind of makes it more interesting that Lucifer and Lilith decided to gift her with the apple. Not only did they want humanity to have their freedom, they gave it to Eve especially because in this version, Eve Eve was specifically created to be subservient to Adam, and giving her the option of free choice uh, is kind of hinted at being what threw everything off, but I don't think it's as simple as that. Now, since we've seen, technically we've seen Lilith, but only at the end, and we've seen Adam full stop in season one, uh, it's pretty fair to say that the humans who were created originally to live in the Garden of Eden are exceedingly powerful. Adam is far above any of the exorcists and appears to only be below the seraphim and possibly archangels. Um, it, by contrast, then, it's interesting that Lilith hasn't been seen, but she had a power that allegedly empowered all of the citizens of hell, which sounds very powerful to me, and I'm just going to go ahead and assume that she might be on equal par with Adam as they were created as equals. So what about Eve? Shouldn't Eve be that strong? Well, if we run with the idea that she was created from one of Adam's ribs, as per tradition, then she's probably slightly weaker than him. The reason I say that is, is that tying in with the themes of the story, it would make sense that the Seraphim would want to make this particular bride for him less powerful so she wouldn't be able to run away from him. I know that sounds creepy and gross, but it does seem to keep with the fitting theme of what we're talking about. And because of that, it makes sense that when she was given the apple, it might have encouraged her to rebel against that natural programming, even though she might have been a little bit weaker than Adam. Of course, I could be wrong, and because she was made from him, they could have been complete equals. Who knows? Um, I doubt it, but it could have been. Now, we don't see Eve at all in first season, nor is she even mentioned. So, let's discuss why that is and where she could appear in the future. Before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm covering more has-been content in the future, and I love having an audience for it. So, you know, it doesn't make sense to put Eve in first season in a lot of ways. I mean, we didn't even get Lilith in first season. Uh, there's a lot of characters that had to be introduced and a lot that still have to be introduced. And I think on the back burner, whatever is done with Eve, she just won't be that relevant yet. I think she will be important later, but Adam had to appear as the primary antagonist, albeit not necessarily the primary villain, as Adam seems to be more a symptom than the disease that seems to be causing the con conflict in has been hotel and that's because he's basically an entitled man baby who's been given carte blanche to do whatever he wants and for some reason we know that lilith is tied into that why do i keep mentioning those two together is because eve is the only other person that would be at their age and on their level and she's not talked about at all i mean at all all. They even make reference to Adam sleeping around and having sex with a lot of other people, but not with Eve. As a matter of fact, him being married isn't brought up at all, which is a curious fe feature. Now, tr 
Now, I think that that leaves us with two very prominent ideas for where Eve could be. One is that I think she could be just straight up divorced from Adam. Therefore, she doesn't want to participate in anything he's doing. She doesn't even like him. And that might make sense, but it doesn't explain why nobody even like throws back at him sometimes when he's being a bit of an ass that he's still married. Uh, flip side of that, it could also be that after she ate the apple, uh, she rebelled against him and got sent to hell. But the problem with that is, is that, again, it's never brought up. I feel like at any juncture, even when Lucifer was taunting Adam, all he says is that he might have slept with his wife, which is interesting. I feel like that's a different discussion. Uh, but again, that's kind of the only time that Eve gets brought up otherwise. So does that mean she's going to be a future antagonist or protagonist? And I think that depends. See, now, I think Eve could end up being a supporting character of some kind if they don't end up making her outright evil um and we'll get to why that might be in a second but if she's not an antagonist she could very well be an interesting character in the retrospect of obviously lilith rebelled technically she because she didn't want to be subservient to adam uh and then adam kind of got boosted up to heaven because you know, it's funny, again, nobody ever explained why. Uh, it's not even necessarily stated that in this version, Adam ate the apple, which might be why he ended up in heaven in this version. Um, with that in mind, does that mean that Eve might be more willing to support Charlie's ideals? Difficult to say. We have a lot more evidence to the idea that Eve might very well be an antagonist, and that's because regardless of whether or not you like this idea, Rue, a character that we've talked about before on this channel and other has been YouTubers have talked about repeatedly, is a character that is still there. I know some people absolutely love the idea of her being there. Some people actively discourage it because they're like, it was so long ago, there's no way that can still be canon. Uh, truth be told, it is still canon because there's enough references to her in canon material that that character is still there. Now, the more recent emerging theory is that Eve is Rue. Is that true? Could she just have changed her name? Possibly. We know a lot of other characters change their name all the time. As a matter of fact, it's more of a standout that you don't change your name when you go to heaven or hell because it seems to be when you go there, you live your best version or your worst version of yourself. Unless you're Alistair. Then you just use your name because you don't really give a crap what other people think about you. As long as they're scared. So... What if Eve is Rue? There is a strong possibility of that. We see heavy root theming when she eats the apple. There's a strong correlation that that could be what that is. I will say that while she could definitely be the major antagonist and could have rebelled against everybody and threatened everybody when she ate the apple, I have to say I think it's also highly likely that Eve might be a... I don't want to say the word puppet. I want to say a word more like vessel or vassal for Rue. The reason I say that is because we see repeatedly that people will serve others when they make contracts with them, uh, especially depending on how well that contract is written, you can end up being directly attached to somebody. And while possession itself is never referenced in the series, there is a good hint that when you make a deal with somebody strong enough, you're bound to them very, very tightly. So it is possible that because, and the reason I bring this up, evil is mentioned to have existed before the apple was eaten. Now, technically, remember, in the traditional Bible, evil is not really supposed to exist until uh, Lucifer rebels and then gives the apple to Eve. That doesn't really happen in the same order in this, at least not from the prologue we're given by Charlie. And because of that, it's almost hinted that evil was this thing that existed before, that the earth was sheltered from it, protected from it, and then when the apple was eaten, it was allowed in, not created. That's a big deal because that means there could be Rue as a final, final boss, but she could be puppeting Eve or giving Eve power to rebel either way, and that could be what Eve's role will be in the future. But what do you think? Do you think that that's likely? Do you think Eve will show up as a protagonist, an antagonist? Uh, what do you think in the comments? What are your theories?